Hey folks, welcome back. Let's play Allied General on the Mysterious JG. Didn't have a perfect first turn here, but uh, hopefully we can start to put some things right. Let's get a. Uh, let's click back on. Took an, we got across the Rhine and are moving on Frankfurt on mine. Is the mine and the Rhine re meet there at Frankfurt? Or at Wiesbaden. Wiesbaden, Frankfurt. Mine. Is there a Kaiserslautern in here somewhere? Or is it not marked separately? Yeah. Anyways. We've got a challenging foes we need to defeat here. And I'm trying to move really quickly to ensure a uh, major victory. Tactical fighter, tactical. So it looks like I've only got tactical bombers to work with from the Americans. So my two Yeah, I've got two uh Even, wow, even with the, they are expected to kind of crush those guys, I guess. Maybe that'd be a good place to use a, uh, just a tactical bomber after all. I expect part of this uh, defensive artillery against these guys. Yep. All right. Managed to do that without using up my suppression bombers, which is good. Yeah, these uh like fully elite Sherman Fireflies, I guess they've just overcome the rules about uh anti-tank firing first. Got some tigers out of the way. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm trying to spread the uh, spread the love a bit. I was using an awful lot of resources on those uh used an awful lot of resources up on the uh artillery there, having a lot of my artillery shooting at their artillery. And I've knocked that thing into the next week. Oh, I smashed their Hummel figurines. <laughs> Not as much anti-air up here as I might have expected. This guy is, uh... Oh, four suppressed. So can do a bit better than that. You're using your jagged tigers to fight my uh, jet fighters. Oh, foolish. This will technically mean there's a fighter cover up there, even if it's probably not necessary. I don't know how many German uh, planes are left, but there's not a lot. I forgot one airplane in all this, and it was a... Uh, looks like it was a tactical bomber, yep. These guys actually had decent entrenchment. It's crossing through the forest here. This must have been really inexperienced anti tanks to get just killed by tanks. And now there's probably didn't need to I didn't realize I was gonna get like I didn't I just didn't see oh I'm gonna get to take those guys out, so I should not have uh I should not have attacked, uh, or should not have used bombers against them anyway. Free Polish infantry is just not doing that well. Or not the Free Polish, excuse me, the Free French in the South had pretty poor results, but the Free Poles are also not really killing it here. We have found new German forces. I got paratroopers, so maybe I should be using them as paratroopers. This is just not a not a battle that went the way I wanted it to at all.
See if the Americans can come down here and help the Free French out. And, uh, maybe the British could help too. We got, a de got a little bit of Switzerland in the map here. Uh, I don't think any of us are allowed to cross there. But I do want to take all the cities on the map just to not have them deploying any sneaky surprise units behind me. Excuse me. These are Polish anti-tank guns. I believe I just turned that city Polish, or Free Poland, which is kind of fun. So, not pressing as hard in the north because we just didn't soften the enemy up quite as well up there. Eh. Okay, good. Didn't actually lose troops. So I've got three core units. Um, you have to buy British because they're core units. Let's get some commandos. See if they'll let me put them in a... Uh, I'll try to put them in an airplane. If they work the way I thought they did. And maybe they don't. But from there, honestly, level bombers. I know it sounds silly, but... They, they have some effect. Even when they're completely inexperienced. They'll still just do some uh, damage of suppressing... Getting like a brand new tank unit now, it's not going to be very effective. So we'll go ahead and throw down a save. And give the Germans their first turn. And fully expect them to wipe out the Free French and hold Freiburg. And probably uh, whoop up on these uh, anti uh, artillery guns too. Because I stupidly put them in a the truck and had them going to an area that I couldn't see. All right, well, they're using their artillery on yeah, mobile anti-tank. This is not unexpected. Mm 
At least they attacked first. They're shooting the Americans instead of our awesome jet fighters from the future. Although they're going to shoot down an American unit completely. Yikes. Well, we're being pretty aggressive here. We're trying to get a major so that we can stop the Soviet Union from establishing the Warsaw Pact, I guess. That's pretty harsh. We lost uh, two infantry units already and a fighter unit. And it's land transport for one of those five units. So that, uh, that was not ideal. So now we've got three different auxiliary units we can buy. But I haven't really seen any, uh, I haven't seen the Luftwaffe yet. Oh, I should have crossed out of the river hex first. That was stupid. These guys may go after those, uh, cannons. Oh, they actually shot down a Mustang. Good for them. Alright, let's see here. So you're completely out of ammo. You are not, which is why you were able to hurt my friend. Sorry. That's why you were able to shoot down those Mustangs. That should be it for anti-air down here. This is the anti-tank gun. Guess it's rushing to the front? I don't know, but it's down now. Oh, there is a, uh... There's some Luftwaffe forces up here. An HE-162. This is this was some kind of weird-ass, uh... Jet-fuck type of airplane, I think. It was known. <laughs> Historians knew it for being particularly weird ass. <laughs> oh. I did kind of a terrible job there of, um... I want to, uh... Get up here and scout so that my, uh... My friends up here can uh, do some good.
Mother. It didn't take long to, like, we lost some forces, but it didn't take long to break this uh, barrier down, did it? Get a look at where the uh, anti air is up this way. Oh, we didn't find the anti air, but we found. Uh, should have held some more of these jet fighters in reserve. I have used them all up, haven't I? Jet fighter here, jet fighter here. We only had three. I used them all. And then found where the Germans are. Got comets in uh, the Messerschmitt 262. Oh. Lots of inex they're inexperienced units compared to very experienced Thunderbolts. Oh. Oh. I'm using my tactical bombers. To shoot down jet fighters. Oh no. That was not very well done. Wow, the Germans got a lot of weird Air Force left over here. Okay, so, uh,. Shoot. Those are bombers. I know what the Comet is. That's a rocket-powered airplane. Not that familiar with these guys, but... Uh, Very much in range of their uh, anti-air if I keep uh, this up, so. Maybe I can pull them into attacking over here. Yeah, see, I thought those guys would, uh... Hmm. So yeah, if you try to bomb a target with fighters right there, they will intercept. The reason that they weren't doing any, projected to do any damage at Lancaster is probably because they have really high air defense. Because they've got air defense of 11, air defense of 14, air defense is 10. Well, I'm not sure. Either way, I probably shouldn't have thrown away uh shouldn't have used those um You know, use your words, JG. You shouldn't have used those fighters, uh like with the assumption there was no uh, Luftwaffe to, to deal with. Luftwaffe's been pretty thin on the ground. <laughs> there hasn't been a lot of Luftwaffe presence. But, um... Hey, these guys have really good anti-air.
kind of assuming all of the, I mean, it could be a bad mistake. It's burned me before, but I'm kind of assuming that's, this is it for the, um, the Luftwaffe is this like big weird clump of high-tech fighters. So you're not expected to take damage, huh? Was that like some kind of fucking joke? Were they lying to me? I just threw away a core unit based on that projection. Yeah, I think we just throw away, like, late game uh, tossing away core units like it's no big thing. Ah, oh boy. Not very satisfied with how this turn's been going at all. <laughs> Maybe we better just call it before things get any worse. Alright, when we come back next time, hopefully things won't go any worse. This is the big grand finale of the scenario. I mean, there's, uh, I don't want to sound like bloodthirsty, like there's... I'm not sa I'm not going to spend time over strengthening them at the end. I'm not saving them up for anything. This is it. Uh, yet I still don't want to like feel like I'm throwing away troops. Um, but you know the fight to to stop uh, fascism is important, which we probably need to remember in our day to day lives. <laughs> Catch you guys next time.